So I'm going back again to the uh, to my, my last post on plank position and plank performance. And so we can't forget about the upper body. Now the next thing that we have to talk we have to talk about here now is shoulder function when we're in these positions, right? So again, if we're in a plank position, high plank, that's the end of the push up, that's the top of the burpee, you know. So all of these things really do tie into place here, right? And they're all connected. So what we have to think about here with our shoulder function is one, it's like we don't want to allow our shoulders to start to round forward, and we can go ahead and combat those issues and create really stable postures through our upper body just by thinking about this one thing. So we get into our plank position, all right, and this is really going to apply more to the high plank position, but when we're in this position, these are the conditions that we have to think about. Very similar to what we're thinking about with our feet is, do we have our hands screwed into the ground? So fingers are still pointing straight ahead, they're in a 12 o'clock position, but now we want to think about creating this torque through our hands as if we're trying to spin everything towards the pinky. And what you'll start to notice is that when that happens, is that you'll start to see function of the elbow pits, right? So when I say elbow pits right here, what we're gonna think about is when we screw our hands into the ground, we get that torque, we develop that stability there. So we're getting this rotation out towards the pinky side of the entire arm. That is a crucial piece of performance right there because that creates a nice locked in and stable shoulder position so that when we're going through all of our movements, not just staying statically in a high plank and going through our push up, we're making sure that we're getting those shoulders to rotate out, stabilize and connect our shoulders to our torso and rib cage so that we can prevent all of this excessive motion like chicken winging, shoulder dumping forward, and subsequently irritating our bicep tendon. So when you're, when you're working on your planks, this is what I want you to think about. It's not just an up and down motion, it's also a rotational component that we want to add in is getting our arms, to, hands to screw into the ground, get those elbow pits to face forward as we're going through that motion, and that will help you alleviate a lot of these shoulder complications, and not, not most importantly, it's gonna help you make sure that you have a strong and stable shoulder.